The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Thanks for tuning in to the Mike Wagner Show on Anchor FM. If you're interested in sponsoring my show, you can send me an email to the Mike Wagner Show at gmail.com, or you could also donate to the uh, podcast. Just go to the Donate Listen site, and um, you can also donate whatever you like. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. For those who are interested, Anchor can give you everything you need in one place for free, which means right from your phone or computer. We've got creation tools. It allows you to record and edit podcasts so it sounds great. And they'll distribute the podcast for you so you can be heard everywhere. Spotify, Apple, Google, many more. And you can make money from the podcast with no minimum listenership. So download the Anchor app for free or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Deezer, Stitcher, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter and check out the Mike Wagner Show on over 35 podcast platforms. Just Google the Mike Wagner Show. We're here with a Terrific musician from Los Angeles. He is based in that area. He's got a couple of singles, digital, and I've got somebody. And just a really interesting story to tell. He's just simply an open book. He's very nice about it, and he doesn't disappear from you. And we got a terrific musician. He's a um, singer, songwriter. He's very multi-talented. And live from the City of Angels, we have the nice ghost himself, Tyler Addison. Hey, Tyler from Nice Ghost. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me on. This is going to be really cool. Hey, it's going to be great as well, too. So uh, you've been in Los Angeles for quite some time, and you've been a singer, songwriter, musician. you got a couple of singles, digital, and I've got somebody, and you got some works coming up as well, too. And you're basically just a nice ghost, as I can tell. And before we get to all that, um, tell, us about, tell us about how you got started, and how'd you, how'd you come up with the name Nice Ghost? 
Ah, well, you know, I've been playing bands and stuff like that for a really long time. Like in, in middle school, I started playing around home and then I, I was in a couple local punk bands and things like that um, back in the old days. And um, I, I, you know, just kind of went out and I actually got hired to play, like be a sideman for some artists and uh, that sort of thing out of Nashville for a while. Um, but I really wanted to go back to just doing my own thing and I've had a lot of ideas brewing in my head uh, and around like 2016 2015 i started thinking okay i really gotta start recording some of this stuff and so i just started going home you know between tours and stuff like that with other artists i started going home and just plugging things in and started to experiment you know i knew a little bit about how to work the studio but i, I was still very new to it so, uh, at the time so it was a lot of trial and error but I sculpted out some cool sounds, and uh, throughout that whole thing, I just I really wanted to have a cool name that I thought um, it. I wanted the name to sound like the mu you, the music might sound, um, and I just wanted it to be a name that I thought was cool. And I'm fascinated with ghosts and things like that. So oh, really? Been, Interesting. Yeah. So I had been kind of chewing on the idea of yeah, maybe the word ghost can be in it. And then Nice Ghost came into my head, and I was like, I like this. And I, I looked it up, and nobody had taken it. So I jumped on the trademark, and I, I took it. It's mine. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that was pretty much just a year's worth of brainstorming on the name. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Did you get permission from Casper to do that? He is a friendly ghost and a nice ghost. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't actually ask him. I should talk to him about it. But is he Casper the friendly ghost? That's a, that's a little different, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Is he wanted to be your friend, but they look. It's like a ghost, and then runs away. But then, since you're a nice ghost, it's like you know people come to you and just check out your music. So that's a very interesting story you have. And um, you know, you had a fa yeah fascination of ghosts as well too. I've had some people on. We talk about ghosts, paranormal, and everything else. And uh, maybe you can just um, share some your stories about your fascination with ghosts and um, maybe a little bit of the uh, paranormal involving um, maybe some ghosts at your end. Um, well, I, I've, you know, like I said, I've always been sort of interested in that kind of thing. Um, and when I was a kid, I, you know, I saw some stuff that you may say was a kid's imagination or it might have been a ghost. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I just seeing ghostly figures in the in the dark at night, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I've always been really intrigued by it. Of course, it's frightening when it's happening. Um, but I'm really interested in that kind of topic, you know, ghosts or, or, I mean, aliens, anything like that, you name it. I'm really interested. I'm not necessarily sold on anybody's theories on what a lot of that stuff is as much as I'm just interested in learning about those ideas and, and that sort of thing. <laughs> uh-huh. And, of course, you know, you think about the paranormal as well, too, that um, you believe there's some alien form. And um, also, you know, what kind of um, stories have you been fascinated by and what's been the latest as well, too? And, and of course, you know, I, I guess another question is, uh, have you talked to uh, anyone about the paranormal when it comes to ghosts? Um, as far as being, as far as anything nice ghost related or anything interview or radio related, no, not yet, but I'd love to talk about it. Um, the, the truth is like, I don't know the answers and I think that's why I'm so intrigued by these sorts of topics is because the only answers that we have are speculative. They're the people's people sitting around in living rooms talking about, well, what if this, you know? And I think that, that uh, the unknown is just interesting about it. And, uh, of course, I don't know. I'm just drawn to creepy things. I love horror movies, uh, anything like that. I love to watch movies that will make it so I can't sleep, which seems like it's uh, torture, but I, I'm... I love doing it for some reason. I, I guess that's why we're all drawn to horror movies. Some I, Something weird about that, right? <laughs> it, it almost sounds like some of the horror movies uh, influence your music. And uh, what are some of your uh, favorite horror movies that you've watched uh, throughout the years? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So I, I have, in, additional, in addition to digital and uh, I've got somebody, there are two more singles that actually just came out. Um, one of which is called The Green Man, which... 
that it, it's basically my song version of a horror movie. Um, it's a song where I used the sounds of the woods. I took like cracking leaves and I was tapping on rocks with sticks and stuff like that. And I recorded it. And then I used some of those elements to make, uh, the song, the green man, which is about, uh, a tree figure of some sort, a tree, a monster thing, uh, that is following me around the woods. And, um, it's based loosely on my love for slasher films. Um, I'm a huge Halloween and Friday the 13th fan. Um, both of those, I think that Jason and Michael Myers are the quintessential, like horror movie villains. Um, you know, the masked guy, (laughs) <laughs> in the shadow. <laughs> um, I think that the original Halloween is the greatest horror movie that's ever been made. I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, and yeah, the green man, it definitely that vibe makes it into that, you know, the idea that there's something that you're not really sure. Maybe there's something there. I don't know. There's something in these leaves, you know, it's frightening. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, so that's really that's how it kind of makes its way into my songs. Um, and I have a new song that I'm working on that's going to come out later called Hocus Pocus. It's just about somebody putting a spell on me, you know, not necessarily for real, but, you know, maybe um, anything like that, I think, is quite interesting. And it, it finds its way into my songs for sure. Um, this song Digital is about sort of being stuck in uh stuck online stuck in our computers stuck on social media and um that in itself is kind of frightening mm-hmm. um uh, yeah well, <laughs> yeah and and we'll go and play that as well too we'll talk about some of your other influences but first to listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonic web studios.com for all your needs look at a professional website without breaking your budget sonic web studios is the answer sonic web studios offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away call today at 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonic web studios.com Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Tyler Adams from Nice Girls here on the Mike Widener Show based out of Los Angeles. We talked about uh, a couple of his uh, songs which are coming up and also a couple that are soon to be released and also we talked about some horror films, ghosts, the paranormal and everything else and there was one question that came to mind as well too that what was that one moment that influenced you into getting into music and especially tying into ghosts? Ooh, um, well, I guess getting into music and getting into ghosts would probably be two separate occurrences. But the fir- the ghost thing, I was a little kid, and I just, I swear, I rolled over, and I looked over uh, from my bed, and there, w- there was this gray, it was like a cloud uh, person standing there. And, I mean, I stared for a second, I'm like, this can't be real, you know, and then I ducked back under the covers and then uh came back out and it was gone of course i told my mom later that i saw a ghost and she said no you didn't go back to sleep uh, <laughs> very typical of parents i'll tell you that. it's like here here honestly here, here. honestly she, you know she could very well have been right uh, the, and i don't know but either way I I thought that you know that may that might have been the thing that got me really interested in that sort of thing. So since then I've just been kind of like, ooh, what if it's haunted? I love haunted places and that kind of thing. Um, um, and then I guess the other thing to answer your other question, you know, how did I really get into making music? And that can be traced probably all the way back to when I was about that age as well. And I can remember vividly seeing Garth Brooks performing live at, uh, I think it was Madison Square Garden on TV. It was a live thing. And 
he was like flying out over the audience on these cables and he was just so larger than life. It was the coolest thing ever. And I knew then that I was like, that's it. This is what I want to do. I want to aspire to do this. And I pretty much haven't changed my mind about that since then. I did kind of have a little diversion for a while where I kind of gave up and uh, started working in uh, college student affairs, but that was quite short-lived, and uh, I, it made me realize that I really need to get back to the music. <laughs> yeah, it, was like, it was like a six-month excursion into a new field where I was like, you know, this will be a lot more, this will be safer, right? And uh, I just hated it. So I went back to music. I got out of uh, Pennsylvania and I moved to LA and uh, got a master's degree in music. I just went for it. And I mean, it's just what I do. So it all really, I think it started with that, that Garth Brooks live at Madison square garden thing. <laughs> that is fantastic. And I, and I'm, and I'm sure he's not ghostly and yeah, he's real. And uh, who are some of <laughs> your other favorite artists and singers and musicians besides Garth Brooks growing up? Well, um, I have been in – there's so many, but I think consistently uh, I would say that Radiohead and Weezer are my two number one favorite artists. Um, listening to Weezer, you know, Blue Album and Pinkerton especially, um, I, I, I think their whole – a lot of their catalog is really wonderful, but – um, early on that you know those early albums that came out I was younger and I remember listening to them on CD on the way to school and um, it was around that time also that my dad uh, actually my sister got me into Weezer that my my dad said you got to hear this album uh, okay computer by this band Radiohead mm -hmm. um, and he had I think he had my sister burn me a copy of it um, and somewhere I that copy of that burned CD exists somewhere but since then I've bought the record probably a few times over uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it was Radiohead's OK Computer and I listened to it and it was of course unlike anything I had ever heard and I, I remember just even in the opening track saying to myself like this this is it. Like, this is what I think music is meant to sound like. Like, it, it, I couldn't imagine anything have been more satisfying to my ear. And since then, it, I've just been obsessed with that band. Uh, every I could sing every song on all their albums. I just love that. I love Radiohead. And, um, and then, of course, like I said, Weezer, I think I learned... Uh, I learned how to write songs. I learned song structure and I learned all about harmony and singing harmony by listening to the blue album so much. Cause it's just, they're like immaculate song structures with these, these infectious melodies that change just enough when you get to the last chorus so that you really feel like you went somewhere. And I studied that by listening to it hundreds and hundreds of times and when I started writing songs, I, people would say, like, you know, this reminds me of Weezer. And a lot of that's just because these uh, melodies are it's just the, it's the song structure, you know, and uh, the way that the harmonies go and the way that the melodies kind of hook you in. I've really tried to do that kind of thing with my own writing. So um, I think uh, – Probably those two artists are my biggest influences, but I love so many more. I'm obsessed with Beck. I love Beck. Um, <laughs> Flaming Lips, that was another artist I got into when I was in high school. Actually, another one that my, my dad introduced me to. He's a ceramic artist, and he's uh, always listened to some really cool music. So he it, it, passed interesting. off a couple of records to me that, that I were really great. <clears throat> that is interesting. A ceramic artist, and um, and I was going to ask you too. Is this like you know how many of his works does he have like in uh, all the museums and um and and wherever else, or does he like you know run a shop and um you know sell his gifts? Or... Well, he, he works at home. He's got his own kilns set up that he's built, um, and he just kind of does it uh, for his own love of it. Sometimes he'll be in art shows around uh, Pennsylvania, Erie, PA, uh, like Erie Art Museum, uh, in and out of there over the years, and places like that um he has a lot of friends that are doing similar things and they have a, a cool community of people that they have events together and they all sort of uh show each other's art and um 
it is a very cool thing. That is amazing, too. We'll play uh, one of your uh, songs in just a minute, highlighting your works. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look on a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today in over 35 podcast platforms. We're here with Tyler Addison from Nice Goes here on the Mike Wagner Show talking about his growing up in Pennsylvania and now in Los Angeles. We have one of his songs out there that's out right now on YouTube and more. Here's Digital from Nice Ghost on the Mike Wagner Show. <laughs>
Digital. That was from Nice Ghost here on the Mike Wagner Show. That was amazing and awesome. Yeah. Tell us more about that song. What inspired you to write the song Digital? Oh, boy. Well, that was the first song that would ever become Nice Ghost, and that's why I released it first. I think when I first was writing it, I wanted to have a song that I knew could be the first track on an album and really just kind of be like, hey, I'm here. This is it. This is Nice Ghost. This is what you're getting into. And so I wanted it to have elements of everything that I really love in it. So it's kind of a mashup of all the things that I love musically. And um, I just started with a drum machine sample and played around with that a little bit. And I had a guitar riff that I had actually written for something else that I'd never finished. And I realized that I could transplant that guitar riff in and uh, with a chorus idea that I had. And then I just, one at a time, started recording the parts and uh, I had a vision for it. And I just stuck to the vision and I kept going. And it involved all sorts of weird things, you know, some backwards vocals and things like that. And um, it took a a long time. I spent a very, very long time working on that. And, And also... Yeah, it was early on when I was producing my own material as well. So mm-hmm. it was very much a learning process. Um, how do I make the bass sound this way? How do I, you know, what what's going to sound good? I recorded like a thousand different guitar parts Wow! Until, until I had really gotten the tone of the guitar and the everything, mic and everything, all of that correct, you know, and then it finally, I remember listening to it and being like, ah, finally the guitars hit the way I want them to. <laughs> um, you know, and now I can just be like, okay, I know how I want my guitars to hit. So I can like go in and record them that way. But like, you know, this was back when I did digital, I, I hadn't, I wasn't as quick, so it took a long time. I totally drove myself mad working on that song because it was it just had to be perfect, you know? Mm-hmm. It had to be perfect. And I kept going in and changing things until one day I just said, this is it, it's done. And I sent them all off for mixing and then. and uh, But uh, it, was, uh, it was about – I wrote it during the uh, – election season the last election when all the primaries were going and we were coming up to the 2016 election and people were fired up as they still are about these sorts of things and my social media like facebook in particular had become just a a shame it was either an echo chamber of the same opinions as me or it was people fighting about how they disagreed and it was freaking me out it was really freaking me out and and like it just looked like people were it, it, i could see the fabric of our society ripping apart in front of me and i was like this sucks like why is every like everybody's fighting and this is these are our people this is our country and we're fighting each other now and and it's like crazy to me and so it was about that it was about the feeling that i got when i logged into facebook or something and all i saw was just political bickering and anger and uh i wanted that sound to come across in the song so that whole middle section where i say it's just noise and then it goes backwards and it loops over itself a hundred times and uh it turns into noise because like that's really it's what it's what it is it's just i think we're all humans at the end of the day and and people would be a lot more decent to each other um had they not been behind the the safety of a keyboard and a computer screen, you know, so that's how what had been on my mind, and that's where the lyrics came from. It was, you know, we are we're talking to each other, we're all doing this stuff, we're in each other's faces, uh, but we're doing it all digitally. We're we're not really. It's like, are we really interacting with each other? We we are, but it's an it's a new age for sure and i think i'm still grappling with the reality of that mm-hmm. and, and of course t- time changes as well too and of course it sounds like a civil war was brewing at the time you know 2016 with uh, what was happening in america and of course with that uh, video watching that as well too kind of reminds me of Jimi hendrix radiohead moby and tool just mashed together it was just it was just awesome 
I love all four of them. Thank you so much for that comparison. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. When I saw that site, it just hit home right here. We'll uh, play your next song. I got somebody. We'll talk about your future plans. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash The Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today and Check out the Mike Widener Show on over 35 podcast platforms. We're here with Tyler Addison from Nice Ghost based out of Los Angeles here on the Mike Widener Show. We just played his, his big hit digital, on, uh, playing on YouTube right now and other streaming services. Right now, here's I've Got Somebody from Nice Ghost right here on the Mike Widener Show. from Nice Goes here on the Mike Wagner Show. That kind of reminds me of the Smashing Pumpkins as well, too. And that's just a catchy song. I love it. And tell us more about that song and what influenced you to write it. 
Oh man, well th- all, thanks for the pumpkins comparison too. I love Smashing Pumpkins, and uh, I, Billy Corgan is one of my uh, bald guy frontman <laughs> idols. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, he's one of my faves. I'll tell you, I love the Smashing Pumpkins, especially uh, being from Chicago. They're one of the best bands out there. Hmm. Um. So, uh, well, I guess what inspired that song, I. You know, I like when many of the Nice Ghost things started back in, uh, you know, 2015, 2016. I remember I was actually coming off of a, I was playing with a cover band and we had just completed a, it's called the Tiger Cruise. It's a thing where we rode with uh, the Navy on the uh, Theodore Roosevelt ship, uh, the aircraft carrier. Uh, at the end of their deployment and performed for them like every day, which was a whole other thing. Um, but I was, I had a melody pop in my head in a hotel room in San Diego after getting back from, from that thing before we were headed back to Nashville. And I remember sitting in this hotel room and I just was kind of like, um, Got somebody. And just the melody came in and the, the phrase, I've got somebody. And it just, I was like, ooh, I got, this is going to be a song I got to write. That's super catchy. Got to keep it. And then I just didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> I, didn't any, I didn't do anything with it. I just, many songs start out that way. It'll be an idea that I jot down on paper or I record a voice memo of. And then I forget about for quite a while. And then I did kind of forget about it. Um it to me, I was like, oh, I don't know if it's serious enough to be nice, ghost. It might be too poppy. But one day uh, after I had moved back out to L.A. and this was in 2017, I just started playing around with the idea, and I decided, well, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna finish this song. I'm just gonna record it right now in my bedroom. So I, I just started recording parts and. I wrote down the lyrics to the verse, so just as the thoughts came into my head, and uh, I, I thought, you know, this is fine. I don't need to change this. This is exactly how it should be. And I, uh, I just recorded it right away. And uh, well, actually, I, I got most of it, and then I was like, this is. It needs something else. It needs something else. And then I realized it needs a key change. That's what it needs. So I went in and I, I recorded the ending of the with a, you know, shifts up a, a key. And um, then I was like, okay, it's done. It's officially done. And I send that one off to get mixed and mastered also. And it's crazy because that song, the amount of time spent obsessing over that song compared to the amount of time that I spent obsessing over digital, it's it's so different like (laughs) it was a whole different process i just it just seems to go the way i wanted it to as it went of course the production on it isn't as dense or as crazy as digital digital is very multi-layered i've got somebody is on the other hand is a very straightforward rock song um and initially i just was thinking well it's going to be about um, you know, I've got somebody, I moved on to somebody new, whatever. Typical story. We've all heard that before, right? Mm-hmm. A song about yeah, yeah, yeah boy new, meets like, girl, girl meets boy, and uh, they go out, break up and everything. It's almost a version of it's not you, it's me. Right. So it's, you know, we've heard that story before. But then I was like, well, how do I make it really into a nice ghost song? It's, you know, it's got to be a little darker and weirder than that to be a nice ghost song. So the words ultimately ended up being about uh falling in love with a news reporter uh and not leaving the house because you think that you're in a relationship with your television uh and there's a little <laughs> nod about how the, how you know we don't fight she only says things i agree with anyway and that's like well that's a statement about the news so really the song is kind of about uh you know the way that our media can influence the way that we feel about things and if they if there is a news source that agrees with your own viewpoints and you keep saying, well, this is the only correct news source, well, there might be a bias involved with that. And the news source might be aware of that. And so I that's the kind of thing that I think about. And so that's how that ended up in the song. And that's kind of what it's really about to me. Um and that's how I made it into a nice ghost song and not just a regular song about 
two people that break up and then somebody meets somebody new. Duh, we've all heard that before. You know, I, <laughs> how, how many? I wanna... How many times? Millions or so? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mean. I mean, I would be an interesting uh, uh, doctoral dissertation or something. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Figure that one out. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so let me count one million ways. We'll talk about that next time. And uh, what, are, what are your upcoming plans for 2020? Well, I, the plan was to release this record, a uh, full-length album in a string of singles, and then the album comes out and then do a tour. Now, the COVID pandemic has certainly changed that picture a little bit, but um, that's just I don't know when I'm going to tour. But I do know that the music is still coming out. I've got the album set to release right now, August 28th. That might vary by a day or two, but it's going to be around the end of August. Um, it's a full-length record called Digital, and that's the title track. It will have all of the singles that I'm releasing every month up until then on all the platforms like Spotify and Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'll have a single every month and then the album in August. And then hopefully if we can get things back to normal, uh, I'll be doing some touring for that. I would love to hit the road with just my guitar and maybe a little looper and a couple little effects and take a small scale version of the show out there and play for as many people as possible. I have a lot of friends around the country that I've met through touring and with other artists and that kind of thing. And I'm really hoping to um, bring people together and, and see a lot of my old friends and see a lot of the cities that I love and uh, have a chance to travel and uh, really just hoping to be able to do that. But I don't know when it just certainly depends on how this, uh, the, COVID-19 situation goes and mm -hmm. I don't know how that's going to go so we'll see but um, in the meantime I'm just I'm working on new music I'm recording new ideas uh, every single day I'm trying to make content for the online crowd right now uh, trying to perform and, and help people stay happy while they're kind of locked in their homes um, for me that I my natural state is locked in my home. Mm -hmm. This is how I, this is how I create. This is how I really, um, thrive, uh, is when I have, uh, kind of isolation privacy uh, right. to do my work. And so I've been very, very creative and productive in this time. And, and I'm hoping that I can use that to make other people's lives a little bit better. Cause I know it's a really hard time for people. And if anybody loves my music, then, uh, I, I really hope that I can make them smile. And so I just keep on working on things and uh, I just let's see where it goes. <laughs> Sounds great. And looking forward to having you back on sometime in 2020 and beyond and give us an update on that. And just a couple of things here with uh, Tyler Asso from Nice Ghost. Uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Um, ooh, well, honestly, the encouragement of of a number of people that I've met over the years. Um, and, you know, these are people that as far back as high school uh, and up until now who have been very supportive of, and encouraging of me along the way. Of course, like my, my family is some of those people and a lot of people from my hometown who always said like, Tyler, you, you know, you should go out and really pursue this. We think you could do something with this. And, of course, it, I, I'm very good at telling myself, oh, no, don't get your hopes too high. You know, let's keep your realist, you know, expectations realistic. And um, But I've been pushed by a lot of people to really pursue things that I thought might have been pie in the sky ideas, you know, that I that I didn't know if I could ever really do it. But as I've really gone for it uh the advice of those people has served me well and i've done a lot of amazing things that 10 years ago i wouldn't have ever thought i would have done um so honestly all of those people that said anything along the lines of hey you you should get out you should you should show this to people in nashville or la or you, you're man you've really you really inspire me, like keep making music, you know, like anything like that has been such a huge encouragement for me. And, uh, that has really led me to do all of this. Um, cause without people telling me that I would have never really thought that it was possible. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does sound like, uh, you really made, uh, lives happen and everything else, which is great. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? 
Um, if somebody wants to dedicate their life to uh, making music as a career and all that, um, the best possible advice is to be relentless in that pursuit. Don't listen to anybody that says that it's not possible or that it's unlikely or that it's hard to do or like whatever. If somebody's trying to discourage you from it, do not listen to those people. End of story. Don't listen to them because they're wrong. If you want it and you believe that you can do it, then you can do it. The music business and in this world, you know, you can be in it and, and the people that want to be in it the most are in it because they've dedicated themselves to it. And uh, the other thing is anybody that really wants to do this kind of thing seriously, um, you have to pursue it seriously. And that means that you may have to move. You may have to relocate your whole life. You may have to quit jobs and try new things and take risks. And it seems frightening, but if you do it with a, the right work ethic and you really commit to doing it, there is plenty of work for you and it can be done and you, you absolutely can do it. So anybody I encourage to do that, um, but be willing to truly dedicate to it. You can't just dip your toes in the water. Um, you got to dive in if, if you really want to do it. Mm. And that is so true as well, too. Very encouraging. Once again, Tyler Aslan from Nice Ghost of Big. Thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. And uh, before we go here, t- tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to your music? Okay. Well, I'm on every major platform worldwide as far as downloading and streaming goes. So um, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, uh, Google Play, Deezer, anything like that, search for Nice Ghost. And if you can't find me, send me an email. Uh, Come to my website, and uh, that's niceghostmusic.com. You can find contact information on there. Um, You can reach out to me on any of the social media platforms. I respond to everything myself. So um, Facebook, I'm on Facebook dot com slash nice ghost music there is uh instagram my handle on instagram is nice ghost official uh, by all means please reach out to me on any of these platforms uh i have all the information for you um and uh oh gosh what else i think that about sums it up you can find me on all those uh youtube i'm on youtube as well um and i need subscribers i don't have a lot of subscribers on there i got way more views on my facebook videos than i do on my youtube videos and uh it's just it is what it is so <laughs> please follow me on youtube too <laughs> we we will do that and once again tyler a big thank you for your time you've been more than nice ghost you've been fantastic look forward to having you again soon do us a favor keep this up to date looking forward to having you on in 2020 and beyond and uh, you've been fantastic thank you so much mike i really appreciate this Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 